I'm Candice. I um, had a little bit of a pivot in my educational journey. Um, I originally started off um, at UC Davis when I was 19, um, but mid uh, freshman year, I got sick um, and was diagnosed with an illness and spent a decade of life after that um, recovering. And after recovery, I decided to shift my path um, because it really inspired me to want to hold space for others going through similar experiences. So I um, pursued a bachelor's completion in psychology and then found, or I was looking at grad schools and found Meridian in my search and resonated with the very integrative approach to what it means to, to heal um, on both an individual, but also a collective um, level. So I, I did apply to multiple schools, but ultimately chose Meridian for that reason. One perhaps the field to engage after a healing process, knowing mm -hmm. the complexities around it and then um, being willing to offer that or have a desire to offer that to other people. I think that's a wonderful calling if you want it. Yeah, thank you. You know, and I've gotten a chance at Meridian just because of the transformative nature of education and very transpersonal um, way of exploring material. I got to sort of explore, you know, my own resilience and what my own story means in the context of my life and purpose and where I fit in this, you know, universe we're all a part of. And it made me realize that there's such a beautiful opportunity to help others reframe their roadblocks as um, detours instead of, um, you know, a mountain to climb. It's more of an opportunity to see like, what is life asking us or giving us the opportunity to learn um, and grow through. And I think just discovering that in my own uh, path has kind of helped me inform how I want to move forward and holding space for others who are uh, facing similar lived experiences. Mm. Wonderful. You mentioned uh, one of the key words that I want to pick up on was transformation. Do you, why do you feel it is important to pursue an education that transforms you as a person? I never want to stop growing and learning personally. Um, and I feel like it's so important in this field to understand this work in the context of your own story um, and what we hold in terms of imprints or maybe even wounds um, from our own lived experiences and how we can transmute um, the pain of our past um, in order to transform and utilize it as wisdom and uh, motivation moving forward. Wonderful. You mentioned transmutation, which mm -hmm. is just a powerful concept. Um, one that is perhaps even bound to evolution itself. You know, it reminds me, I just have, you know, had the opportunity through Meridian's work um, to really explore our connection to nature and the way it reflects our own resilience back to us. And the collective nature of resilience um, and healing is, I've really explored that through a lot of imagery that nature offers us, like the roots of redwood trees, how they all hold each other up through this root system that's so intertwined. And I think just the way that Meridian um, gives us the opportunity to be witnesses for each other starts to feel like that redwood forest where we're all kind of holding each other up mm. even though our social locations may be different we may be standing in different places and experiencing different things but this collective nature of working together to understand our place and our purpose and how we can hold space for each other is just really beautiful that makes me think about integral or holistic approaches to education um, what does that mean to you and how have you experienced it so far in your classes as a student at Meridian? Yeah, I think for me, it is an opportunity to experience me and others as entire complex beings um, 
uh, affected by structural, cultural, sociocultural impacts, but also we all have these innate ways of being that are unique to each of us as well. So um, for me, it's really exploring all of the parts of that, the external, the internal, the way we are all connected in these stories and systems and how they uniquely impact each of us. Um, it's such a way of honoring a whole being um, and then who we are as a collective as well. Maybe you can tell me a little bit about how you see that an individual going through the process of growth and transformation and learning, how that impacts the world at large. One, you know, in an inner terrain sort of level, it taught me personally so much about my own capacities and how to expand those. But then like contextually as, you know, in my uh, role in the world at large and the role I'm stepping into, it's also teaching me how to use those capacities in a way that honors another person's power and creates space for empowerment for others rather than repeating power dynamics that maybe we're all structurally, um, or many of us are structurally attempting to shift and change so we can all be free and liberated. Um, so I think it's teaching me a lot how uh, my own capacities can be used in a way to create more space for others rather than just take up more space myself. It starts within us, right? We, I think it's about looking at where some of those systems live within us. I think embracing and knowing that that a lot of um, these power dynamics that most of us live through, they leave a mark. And once we can work through where they live within us, we have a different, uh, an opportunity to be differently in the world and to engage differently from a different place. If you want to share some words of inspiration or wisdom to people that are contemplating joining Meridian University, what would you share with them at this point on your journey? I would say trust yourself and your intuition and um, know that if you make um, the choice uh, to move forward and to, uh, and to join Meridian, you are joining um, a, what feels like a collective and it is an opportunity to learn so much about yourself and others. Um, so I would say um, stay open and stay connected to your inner compass and um, I'm just so happy for each person that has landed here in this moment um, and therefore can them. <laughs>